All right, so when we're in Windows 10, I want to show you all how I back up my files when I do it manually. Now, you want to make sure you have um, a USB stick that can hold your files. Like this is eight gigs, and I know the average person that doesn't game, that just documents or whatever, a 32 gigabyte USB stick should be large enough for your files. Now, the way I back up my uh, system is with an external drive uh, you can purchase one of these from Amazon same with the USB stick you can get it from Amazon Walmart or whatever you just want to make sure it's large enough whether it be two terabyte three terabyte you can even get like six terabytes these days to back up your files for home and so now that we're in Windows 10 what you want to do is pull up your Explorer and I'm going to show you what directories to actually back up if you're going to do it manually. Okay, so you pull up your Explorer and let's click the C drive. And let's go to users. Now in your users folder, you're going to see all the users that actually are, um, that actually logged into your system. So if you got your kids profile, your spouse's profile, your boyfriend, girlfriend's profile, whoever's profiles, they'll be here, like mine, Dewan. And inside that profile, it will have my desktop, my documents, my downloads, my favorites, and basically everything I pretty much do on this computer. Now to manually back this up, the files that I copy, now this is just me. You may wanna copy everything, but the, your desktop, if you have things scrolled on your desktop, your documents, your downloads, your favorites, um, your music, of course, your pictures, and your videos. Those are the main file folders that you want to back up and copy to your USB stick or external hard drive. Now, that's the manual way to do it, and you want to do that for each folder. You also could just copy this whole folder to your USB or external hard drive. It's, it's up to you, it's totally up to you what you wanna do. Now, if you store files on your C drive, you wanna check there also. So, I don't know where you store your files, but just make sure you back up everything. Now, if you want Windows to do it, what we'll do is on your keyboard, let's hit the Windows and A button. And what this does is it brings up your action center and once the action center comes up we'll click all settings now that we're in all settings let's go down here to update and security and here is actually where you're going to go to your backup path so if you click backup and this is how you'll have Windows manually or automatically back up your files. So click Add Drive, and then you'll select the drive you want it to back up to. In this portion, I'll do the E drive. And then so well, Windows will automatically back up my files. For more options, you can tell it to back up now under more options and it'll automatically back up and it this shows you everything it backs up these are the same exact folders that I mentioned before when we were going to manually back up our files so the drive that I selected was the E drive this will be whatever external drive that you have and you can tell it to back up now and then it will automatically back up